Hey, this is Brian, and today we're gonna be debadging my car. Um, so I know some people love it, some people hate it. For me, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but sometimes with the white cars, you actually get these little specks of rust um, on the paint. Now, some people say, and it's all in, in between here, so that it's really hard to clean for me. Um, I've heard one rumor, I don't know if it's real or not, they say that if you live in an area where there's a railroad, that the, the iron, I guess, from the track floats in the air, <laughs> lands on the car, and then rusts out. So I don't know if that's really true. Um, it's only superficial, so you can, although there is rust on the car, you can just scrape them off and buff them out, but they're just a pain. Um, and it, it's just really hard to get, you know, to clean around these emblems, so I'm just going to take them off. So what you're going to need is, obviously, you're going to need a heat gun. Um, you're going to want to have some kind of squeegee or hard card. Um, and then you're also going to want to have some kind of thread. Um, th the problem with these emblems is you don't want to pick up one side because then the other side is going to dig into the paint. And you don't want that to happen. So I've heard people use fishing line. Some people said dental floss. Um, turns out I don't have any fishing line right now. So we're going to try Glide from Oral-B and see if, see if this works. Um, so what you want to do is, and then the other things you're going to want to have just to get that the rest of the junk off is either some kind of goo gone, I'm a little bit out, and then also WD-40. Um, WD-40, if you don't know, is pretty much just fish oil, so it won't really do any damage to your paint. And then you always want to have some kind of compound to do some light buffing, um, just, just with a cloth. I'm not going to get a, a buffer out or anything like that and you can get this for five dollars or so. So the first thing we want to do is we want to heat up the area and make it so the the paint around, because this is a metal area, you can it, it's a little more forgiving, but you want to just heat the general area, keep the heat gun moving, you never want to keep it one spot because you're going to burn your paint. Just make it so it's warm to the touch. And in this process, what you really want to do is you want to heat the metal so it heats the adhesive from behind. You're not necessarily heating up the, the plastic emblem. Some cars have metal. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, I took a little bit too much, but I don't know how this is going to hold up. Um, I, I guess I took about two feet. You don't really need to take all of that. And then just in a gentle sawing motion, you want to just pull this off here. Now fishing line's probably going to be a lot better than um, than this floss that I'm using, but this is just all I have right now, and I wanted to make sure I got the video out while the, the weather was still warm. Okay, and there you have it. The next thing I'm going to do is try to heat this gunk up because ultimately you're going to want to peel this off as much of it as you can with your hand. And then you you want to go back with a um, with some kind of adhesive remover and get the rest off. A lot of times if you try to roll it, it'll work out pretty good for you. And then at this point too, you can always use some kind of card. Just be careful, you'll scratch your paint.
So what we're going to do next is we're going to try to go through and get some more of this adhesive off. So what I'm going to do is I, I have a, a rag here. I'm just going to spray some WD-40 on the rag itself and then try to remove some of the residue. Alright, so at this point, it's most of the way off, so I'm just going to get some compound. on the other side and, and that's how you do it. All right, so now we got the letters or the numbers off, just one letter. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to use a little bit of polish on here. It'll do two things. It'll well, it'll do a couple things. It'll protect the paint. It'll get that WD-40 off, and then if there's any fine scratches from from us doing that, whether you're using the hard card or your nail, uh, it should it should take some of those out. And for me, mine was really filthy underneath and have all these little rust spots. So this is really good for, for taking those out too. There's a rust spot out there. Okay, and then wipe this stuff off. <laughs> then what I do is I go through, use some spray wax or, or some real wax and uh, protect the paint even more and then you're good to go. Alright, well thanks so much for, for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.